Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to VTOL VR. Today we are gonna be starting. We're gonna be uh, so uh, for, first of all, new aircraft released. Yay, new aircraft, the EF twenty four G. So we're gonna be flying the EF twenty four. We're gonna be doing the EF twenty four G's campaign today. So let's just quickly read the EF twenty four G. The EF twenty four G Mischief is a two seat twin engine swing wing fighter aircraft. Modified with specialized equipment and sensors to fill the electronic warfare role. So basically, uh, it's a uh, it's an F fourteen Tomcat with but that can do jamming. So some people have decided to call it the Jam Cat. <laughs> so you know that's pretty cool, a, a F fourteen in Tomcat that can do jamming. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing the. The campaign that came with with this aircraft, one minute to midnight. Now this is a difficult campaign. It is, like even compared to the others, I'd say this is actually very, this campaign is quite is very difficult, especially if playing solo. So we're gonna play it solo because once again, I do not have, have, have people to play this with. Anyways, uh, reset progress, and let's head into it. So yeah. This D this DLC came out like right before I left for right before I left for Christmas break so so I did not have time to even try it before I left but now I'm back so and I've actually played through the campaign and so I know how to how, I mostly know how it works so yeah anyways let's go to mission one dead islands or deed islands. <laughs> Destroy enemy air defenses and early warning radars on remote islands. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's hop into it. After a long deployment overseas, our final mission before returning home is to clear early warning and air defense radars on a cluster of remote islands. There are three early warning radars among the islands. Each radar has various levels of self-defense, so you may be required to suppress or destroy the defenses in order to land a successful hit on the EW radar. The island also hosts various high-value targets which, you would, which we would like to destroy, so your job will be to destroy all air defense radars. This will allow us to send in dedicated head bomber groups to clear out the weapons and harden targets. All air defense radars, including those on ships, need to be destroyed. Missile batteries and the ships themselves can be left standing. Alright, so the um, objective is to destroy all early warning radars and all air defense radars. So let's get ourselves set up for this. So first, of course, gun. Gun is important. <laughs> and let's put on the TGP. I know, for basic stuff, gun, TGP. And then, uh, let's decide. Our weapon selection is kind of limited right now. We only have, we don't have any air-to-air -air weapons. <laughs> Like, well, I mean, there's no air to air, there's no air targets in this mission, so it's purely e e air to ground. So what we can do, on our wing hard points, uh, we can attach one set of jammer pods, the ANALQ245 jammer, an advanced multiband radar jammer with multiple electronic attack and defense modes. It's powered by a built-in ram air turbine, which employs a variable air intake to scoop power as it's... To, to power it as necessary. Yeah, so basically, let's attach these jammer pods. These The jammer pods are are powered by an internal battery and a ram air turbine. So basically, if you're going too slow, the batteries are going to discharge. So you want to keep your speed up in order to make sure the jammers is remain functional. And then, uh... And then we're gonna... Let's see. Oh, on our on our the the on the wing hard points, we don't have many options. We have the AGM eighty eight S, which is actually a har a shorter range version of the Harm. Yeah, it's a modified version of the AGM eighty eight with, but it's it's shorter. It's a shorter range into version of of the Harm, which we might I I do. Because the Harm is always good. 
Then we have the Marm. Finally, another aircraft that can use the Marm. Previously, the only aircraft that could use the Marm was the AV-42. And, of course, the sidearms. Uh, hmm. Let's equip the Marms. And some more Marm. Marm, 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 Marm. And then we're going to equip the har some harms, some full-size harms on our on our belly points. And uh yeah, we also have options for like bombs and and cruise missiles and stuff. We'll be fine. I, but I think we're good. Uh Oh man, we can even have double oh, thousand Mark 83 bombs. Because most aircraft we can only have a single oh, Mark 83 bomb on, on the hard point, but this one lets us have two. Amazing. I actually didn't realize that. Cool. Uh hmm. Now yeah, we'll be fine. So we have four four marms and four harms. And so uh we'll also equip some 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 drop tanks. We'll also equip some drop tanks because this thing uh really does not have that much range and it its fuel tank is relatively small. It burns through fuel pretty fast. And we can select a livery. We only have four liveries available. This this default livery, the aggressor livery, the great livery and the naval livery which looks like the the livery of of the of the Jolly Rogers, so you know what. And since we are launching from the carrier, let's let's pick the the naval, the the naval livery. Words. All right, let's get out there. So this mission loads very quickly because it's like literally two islands. It has the it's literally two islands and then the rest is ocean. So it loads very quickly. All right, let's get started up. Battery, APU, close canopy. Set up our displays. So, oh, so one thing I, I want to go over a few things before, before we, we get airborne. Let's turn our HUD. Our HUD, our radio controls are up here now instead of normally they're down here. Uh, first of all, we have this this master mode switch, which we can switch between weapons and EW, and as well as air to air and air to ground mode. We're gonna stick keep it in air to ground mode because well we are obviously doing air to ground. Also, there's like no voice lines in this mission specifically. The rest of the missions have voice lines, but for whatever reason this mission does not have voice lines. Uh yeah. <clears throat> so that's I'm gonna set up my number one preset. That's what I normally have. I might I adjust it sometime though. Uh so here, this is our my standard our standard layout. This is our, you know the nav display, GPS, objectives. Just destroy the early warning radars and destroy the, and the air defense radars. Here's our TSDs, just like on the F forty five, our RWR, and our radar. Our, so they've they've reworked how how the radar actually works, but we'll see it in a later mission because you see this radar looks this radar display looks a bit different from from other aircraft. Uh, here is our TGP, obviously. Here and here is our jamming ink display. You see, we have our two jammers. Each each jammer can, has two different jamming ink antennas, so we can jam each so each jammer pod can j can jam two targets. And you can see it has three modes. So we have noise, DRFM, and SAS. No, so uh, so. Uh, it might be a good idea. So it's a probably a good idea right now to go over how each noise, how the jamming modes work. Uh, so noise basically just blasts noise at the enemy radar so that they can't basically you can't see anything, and makes it a lot harder for them to lock on. There's DRFM, which call which is a uh, I believe digital radio frequency modulation. Basically, this is is used to break lock when a radar has has locked onto you. It's used to break lock by essentially just just messing with the radar's gain systems, and then and and causing it it to re 
to adjust its gain too much and and lose you. And SAS, I think signature augmentation system, I believe, which essentially makes you makes you appear as a different target to 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 the radar. So you can and, and see you can choose what you want to appear as. You can appear as any aircraft, a different, completely different aircraft to the radar. Probably not as useful in single player, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's qu quite a bit more useful in multiplayer. Also, one thing, we can switch to the back seat. Have our displays and HMTS on. And here, this is our, this is, um, this is my, this, this is my setup for, our, our, for the, for the rear jamming display. We can have, yeah, this is that, that, so this is the rear seat for the electronic warfare. So there are two sticks here, but they, you can't, you can't actually move the sticks. They are purely for controlling the displays. And so you cannot fly the aircraft from the rear seat at all. So the rear seat can be your electronic warfare officer or your your Wizzo or your Rio, whatever or whatever you need for the mission. So this is our is our your our Fraz our frequency azimuth display, which will display the frequencies of incoming radar signals. So you can see you have three radar signals detected, and you see there's two bars here because th those will. Uh, that that shows the band of of the of the radar signal. Low is below the the green the low bar and high is above the high bar, and and medium medium band is in between. So you want to make sure you match the band of the radar, to pro so you get to properly jam it. Otherwise, the jamming is not going to be, be very effective. So yeah, we'll get we'll let's just track the front seat and get airborne, and we can show off how these works. Tower request takeoff. Tower request takeoff. Okay, my mic is not working. Stand by, my mic is does not seem to be working. Tower request takeoff. Echo. There we go. You're clear to taxi to Cat Four. All right, there we go. Um, so let's get to the catapult. Let's get ourselves to the catapult. Oh. You know, it'll be helpful if I actually started my engines. It'll be helpful if I actually start my engines. <laughs> I just had my APU running. But yes, having your engine started would probably help. Fun fact. Our wingman is just also just chilling there waiting for us to take off, I guess. Alright, engines are up. And shut off the APU. And now we can go. Oh. Now our wingman is, is, is going. I think our wingman is probably just waiting for us to start our engines. So let's taxi to the catapult. Launch bar down. Put our visor down so, so we can see. Since and see our our display. Our HMCS. Echo. One one. Locked in. All right, so being a variable sweep aircraft, we have our sweep lever here. Let's set it to full forward and watch our wings come out. My boy, the wings coming out. All right, flaps what? Let's set flaps, catapult trim, strobe, and let's get going. Gear up, gear up, launch bar up. Alright, and flaps up, trim off, sweep auto. And that's what we want to do for taking off. So let's, uh, well, let's get it, let's get in the, uh, let's get up in the air and wait for our wingman to join us. For our wingman to join us. Wingman regroup. So as you can see, our, our battery, you can see this bar above our jammer pod, that's, that's the, that's the battery E. That's how much battery our our jammer pod has, and it charges as when when you're going fat from the ra from its ram air turbine when you go fast enough. I think the the minimum speed I think is three hundred knots. I think 
So yeah, 300 knots. I think it's 300 knots that you have to do in order to to stay to, to make sure that the jammers have enough power. As you can see, we're already seeing a bunch of radar a return or radar targets. We're not gonna do, but 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 those are on the main island. We're actually gonna go to the smaller island of, over here. We're gonna head to the smaller island and this way a a first. Is because there's a couple there's there's an, an early warning radar on this island now early warning radars are basically long-range alert radars they cannot early warning radars they are not a threat they are not a direct threat to you because they cannot be used to lock on to lock up Sam's but they will but they can be used to to but they are long range very long range inch radars and they which can, can be used to alert like stuff like fighters is to can 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 you use to alert fighters to your presence but right now they're not but right now it's not a threat to us so we can see the early warning radar on our on our uh our, 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 on our rwr and tsd so they change how they also change how the rwr are our works uh yeah because now the rwr is actually a lot less precise at at locating in targets. So let's arm weapons. It's it's a lot the not RWR is actually a lot less precise at, at uh at, at at actually locating at actually locating radars. It might give you a because it might give you a good reading you might you must you you probably see either see it on it but but uh bleh, words you can probably see the, I cannot words right now you can probably you you'll be able to notice the target on basically you you can at least tell the general direction where it's from but now its exact location is a lot more ambiguous anyways there's the the early warning radar right there it's a big building. And there was also a missile warning system. You can also notice this MW, which is a missile warning system. So if we set put this thing on autopilot right now, and we had to switch to the back seat, we can see the missile warning system is in is a high frequency radar, the MW, modern warfare. <laughs> it's it's modern warfare. So the the missile warning system basically it it it's a radar that alerts its other other allies of nearby of incoming missiles. So so we're gonna uh, what we're gonna do what I wanna do is jam the the radar. Is jam the the missile warning. Actually, we can get our wingmen to engage. <clears throat> so let's quick save real quick. Uh, we're gonna switch to EW mode. To, to electronic warfare mode. Wingman, attack my target. Roger, going in for the kill. Magnum. So, and we're gonna start jamming the the missile warning system. I guess that full power jamming on the missile warning system, so it can't, so that we'll have less warning of our of, of the of the missile. As you see, it's on high, high band because the, the missile warning system is on is a high band and and radar. And we want to st try to stay a, a little bit far out from from the from um the from um the the radar because uh because they are is surrounded by by missile launchers as you can see you can see a couple of missile launchers near the target it's oh, looks like it shot down looks like it managed to shoot down our the harm oh go for another one. I'm gonna switch to the back seat real quick. Uh, and we're gonna and we're gonna jam the the missile warning system. They keep jamming the missile warning system. All right, Magnum is out. We want to stay. Yeah, again, we want to stay a bit far out from from that. From that, a little bit high and far because, uh, yeah. 
Oh, good hit. Good hit. Wingman regroup. Alright, good hit. Good hit. Hit target destroyed. We can ignore the missile warning truck. Oh, missile launch. Flares out, flares out. Oh. Flares out. Incoming missiles. Incoming. Those are IR missiles. They're probably IR missiles. So let's get let's let's turn it. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So what they can, the, so these those 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 radars can what they can also do is uh. So those uh. The, uh so oh uh, what now uh, another thing that that radars can do now is what is what's called home on jam. Oh jeez. It's okay. I don't think they can reach us. <laughs> no, I I heard that boom. Boom. No, I think that was just the sonic boom of our wingman going by. I don't think the the missile can reach us. I, th I think, think we're, we're too far for the missile to reach. I'll just pop a couple of flares though. Bro. Missile? Missile? Oh jeez, incoming missile. All right, so there are a couple of, of okay. Let's get down. Wingman regroup. All right, let's quick save. So our next target is going to be this uh, this DS radar over here. It, it, there are two radars in the area. Looks like there's also a factory. <laughs> there's also a factory. All right, so what I'm gonna do. Oops, jeez. My yeah, my my controller has been drifting. Up, oh, incoming. Get down. Down, get down. Incoming missile. I I could I could jam, do DRFM jamming on it, but it's, but it's not gonna. But I think but it's fine. We can just terrain mask. All right then. Target it is jam. Oh, we are jamming the target. We're f eh, that's fine. We're fine. Oh, jeez. Incoming, incoming. By Going oh, jeez. That was a home on jam missile. Right there. That was a home on jam missile right there. We're gonna... All right. Uh Wingman hit this. Copy that engaging target. Magnum. All right. Hostiles weapons armed. Wingman is going to engage that. Attack order complete. Target destroyed. Okay, sure. Sure. Sometimes the DRFM doesn't work. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. That's fine, I guess. That's not annoying at all. Alright, uh, let's try that again. Jam. Start jamming targets. Oh, I see. Is that a missile launch? Incoming missile. Oh, jeez. 
Ähm Whoa! Yeah, that home on jam is real annoying. Alright, you know what? Okay, I, I want to explain some stuff, but we don't have time, I guess. Wingman, attack this. Wingman, hit this. Wingman, attack this. Roger, it's as good as dead. Targets acquired, weapons free. Magnum. Attack order complete. Target destroyed. All right, that. Wingman hit this. Missile going defensive. Wingman engage. Missile defeated. Re-engaging. Wingman hit this. Engaging enemy targets. Shit. Back up. Back up. Retreat. Wingman regroup. Affirmative. Jeez. Negative. I can't do that. Wingman regroup. I'm being tracked by missile going defensive. A firm will do. All right. Alright, that was a bit hectic, but we took out uh, the, the SL radar and the DS radar. Missiles tracking me. Wingman regroup! Affirmative. Jeez. Negative, can't do that. So over there, there is, uh, anyways. Over there, the. I'm being tracked by missile, going offensive. Wingman regroup. So as I was saying, in, uh, missiles, radar, many radars can do home on jam, which basically just tracks your, the a jamming, locks onto a jamming source and begins tracking it. it. Anyways, there's a. Uh, I'm gonna quick save right here. There's it's another EW radar. And and over to the left there, there's also a DS radar. I'm gonna get my wingman to to hit it. There. Wingman, hit this. Wingman, attack this. Roger, going in for the kill. Hostiles, weapons armed. And I'm gonna take out this this EW radar. EW radar is down. My wingman's gonna go after the gonna gonna go after wingman's gonna go after the that that Sam or I can go after it as well. Wingman disengage. All right, radar's down. We're gonna drop our, our tanks. We're gonna drop our fuel tanks. And and come back around um, to engage those ships. So there's a whole bunch of ships over there. And uh yeah. There's a whole lot that we wanna we, we wanna engage. So we're gonna switch to EW mode. So I didn't mention this before, but switching between EW mode and weapons mode, it allows you to control either primarily your weapons or your jammers using your the stick. Using the weapon switch button and the both the weapon switch button and in the 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 trigger. So basically, when in in EW mode, the weapon switch button allows you to swap to cycle between jammers, and the trigger allows you to toggle jamming. So we're gonna uh, re quick save here, and we are gonna begin. Uh, I'm gonna begin in it. You're gonna uh, 
Uh, we're gonna uh, take out all, have all those ship radars now, and there's also a DS radar. So we're gonna switch over to, uh... To a Marms. I think we are out of, of view of that SR radar, so we're, fi so we're fine. We're gonna first start by jamming all of the, the ship radars. Although they might do home on jam on us. We'll see. Once those radars come into view, we'll begin jamming. Damn it. Ah, damn it. See, stop the jamming. Damn it! No. Alright. So, damn it, our wingman is down. Alright. Missiles out. Missiles out. Damn it! Missed! Well. Ah! Time to do a su- oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, time to do a suicide run, and I'm dead. Yep, and I'm dead. So, the thing is, uh, I'm pretty sure the jamming also affects your- your- the jamming, uh, uh, so as it turns out, jamming targets uh tends to uh stop, t tends to not be so great for your uh tends to not be so great it for your missiles for your for ARMs. So basically, when you're when you when your, your missiles are getting near the targets, you want to stop the jamming. So let's try it again. Wingman regroup. Copy. Wingman jam at will. Oh, by the way, jamming only only really works if if your uh, if your radar has direct line of sight, like to, like to the target. I also I'm also not sure if if wingman jamming commands actually work. Right now, it might they might be broken. They might possibly be broken. So yeah, there's that to consider. GPS lost. Now we're getting jammed. All right. Shoot. Shoot. Magnum. Look out, incoming. Incoming, incoming. Look out! Damn it! I'm going down, punching out. Wingman's down. Damn it! Couldn't save my wingman, unfortunately. Radars are down. Nice. Ship radars ours are neutralized. Unfortunately, we lost our wingman. That's yeah. It's very unfortunate that we lost our wingman, though. Though I don't think there's much we can do about that. We're just gonna have a quick save here and hope for the best. We lost our wingman. Oh, geez, incoming! I didn't see that. You bastard! All right, radar, radar is down. Enemy radars are neutralized. Flares, 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 flares! Oh, come on! I flare. So many incoming. Income, jeez. Yeah, that's a that's a that is a tricky e spot right there because that there, there is a, there are a lot of uh because because there are that 
that that's a tricky spot because as there's there's a quite a few uh, ut ut targets. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that we lost our wingman. I really hope we we, we we wouldn't have to lose our wingman. But yeah, anyways, there's one more there's one more EW radar with uh being guarded by an, uh, a missile warning in, in, uh, a missile warning system. We're just gonna we actually I actually we actually never used any of any of a harm, so we're just gonna use a harm right now. Incoming. Oh, that's probably a home on jam. Anyways, uh, restart jamming. Target the EW radar. I said target the EW radar. Target the EW radar. Dude, target the E. Oh my god, I stupid stick. I hate, I hate having to push the stick to. I really hate having to push the stick to, to, to designate target. Target the EW radar. Is it targeted? It's targeted. All right. All right. We're gonna do full power jamming on that. Shoot. Shoot. And Magnum. Full power jamming in on that uh, on that missile warning system. So I hopefully didn't see our missile until too until it's too late. And impact. All targets destroyed. RTB. All targets destroyed. All targets destroyed. RTB. T t back to the carrier. We took a couple of uh, of heat seeker hits, but. Uh, I'm not seeing any significant damage. Our wings appear undamaged, so we might be fine. Let's let's get out of here. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that missile warning system there. We don't care about it. Okay. Missile warning systems themselves are not direct threat. So missile warning systems are not themselves by themselves are not direct threats to us because they they just alert. They just alert uh, targets of incoming. They just alert nearby allies of incoming missiles. But there are a few systems that can be hooked up to missile warning systems. One of them being jamming systems. They being actually actual jamming missing systems that will. That just just like how you can jam them, they can jam you. So yeah, they missile warning in, in, in trucks can be hooked up to jamming systems to them, so which so which will allow them to allows them to to um, emit jamming signals onto you. They can and and they can also do all three bands. So you might so you might have saw seen earlier that that we got GPS lost. That's because they they blasted low band jamming at us, which jams our GPS and our comms. So you may have heard that. Our wingmen and and transmissions being very garbled. Our wingmen's transmissions being very garbled before before they went down. Yeah, that that was part that part of it. That's low band. That's low band jamming jams GPS and comms. Oh, so yeah, the GPS jam will affect your GPS guided weapons. Affect the accuracy of your GPS guided weapons. And and also will affect the clarity of your comms. Uh, yeah. So basically, there you notice there are three bands. So there's the high band, which is mostly used by the high band is primarily used by stuff like triple A, like triple A turrets, and as well as missile warning trucks. Although when radars are tracking you, when you are being tracked by radars, they are also a oh, high band. Being when you're tracked by radars, that's also they also become high band. Then th there's medium band, which are most radars, most, 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 most radars that allow you to, to lock on, like, like SAM radars, fighter radars. As long as they're not tracking you, who they will be mid band. And lastly, there's low band, which are stuff like EW radars and, and AWACS radars. 
So yeah, knowing what what the targets are are in what band can't help. Can I can can be quite helpful. Although if you really want to know, you can go to the back seat and and check the the fries display. <laughs> Which we might go into next, we might, might go over in a bit more detail next mission. Anyways, approaching the carrier. Approaching carrier, autopilot coming off. Autopilot coming off, I said. And, and let's start, start descending into the carrier. It's a really, it's actually, it's actually quite unfortunate that we lost our wingmen. But oh well. First time I played this, my wingman did survive. Although he he was on he was bingo though he was bingo fuel. But he he was bingo fuel, so he had to land. So he actually he had to break off before all targets were destroyed. Anyways, uh, the carrier is actually we're is we're actually fa facing in the carrier right now, and you can see there are some friend, allied aircraft flying around. There's. There are some allied aircraft flying around. There's some combat air patrol. No, actually, those are bombers. Oh no, up there is bombers and the tanker up up top. Huh. I thought those that, that was combat air patrol. Nope, that's uh. That's just that's tanker and bomber, a tanker and a couple of bombers are flying overhead. Are they gonna bomb the island? They might. They might be going to bomb the island. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure where they're going. Oh, they're just, just rendezvousing with us. Who knows? Anyways, get ready to land. Tower request landing. Echo one one cleared to land on the carrier. All right, so let's go manually full forward. Gear down, hook down, flaps, and get ready to land. Doesn't look like there's any wind. And right now, so yeah, wind was something that was added in a previous in one of the previous updates, but doesn't look like there's any wind right now. So. We can go straight into the carrier. We're a bit high, I think. Echo one one. Uh, call the ball. Echo one one ball. Roger ball. All right, we're gonna do flaps two, and that'll be our final landing flaps because it, as I found that flaps fully down on makes the plane super floaty, which is not great. I don't like that. I don't like it. It super floaty. So we're gonna. So for carrier landings, I definitely recommend flaps two. Uh, where. We lost, oh jeez, we're getting real unstable right now. Lined up. Getting real unstable might, might be because of the damage. Alright, we're lined up. Nice. We're a little high. You're high. Wait for line up. Yeah, we're a little high, but we're fine. Power. Wave, wave off. Yep. Wave off. wave off, wave off. Oh, jeez. What just happened? How did we crash? How did we crash? Are you serious? Really? Really? How the hell did we crash? Alright. So, let's not crash again. This time I took a little bit more damage. I took a little bit more damage this time. So, uh, yeah. It's, so it's, which is not ideal. We're not fl flying super straight right now. Uh, yeah. Tower request landing. Echo, one, one. Cleared to land on the carrier. Let's, uh, let's just try to keep ourselves uh, as, as straight as we can. Uh, let's try to keep ourselves straighter than me. <laughs> Anyways. Landing gear. Shut up. All right, gear down, hook down, flaps one. So I think one thing I noticed is that, so yeah, I think I think what what probably happened and and back back there is before is uh this thing if you're not careful this thing can actually tail strike relatively easily. So uh yeah, watch out for tail strikes. It's uh. Just get ourselves stabilized. Switch to our HSI. Echo one one. Call the ball. Echo one one ball. Roger ball. HSI doesn't help. Flaps two. Jeez. Uh, 
We're fine, we're fine. I, I, I hope our HSI would have helped with like an ILS, would show an ILS like, like in the FA26, but I guess not. Ugh. All right. Spect spectator cam on so you guys can in, in, can see how spectacularly I can fail. Jeez. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna trust, I'm just gonna put her down. I'm just gonna try to put her down. One wire, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take, I'll take a one wire. Maybe I should have done 60 FOV. That's fine. Yeah, maybe I should have done an, maybe, I mean, eh, I'll take a one wire. We lost. Hey, hey, we didn't get told to go, to to go around. So I'll take it. So that's a win in my book. Let's go. That it, it, it's cleaner hills up. All right, wing sweep back because that's the equivalent of wing sweep. It back is the equivalent of folding our wings in this aircraft. I really thought. Yeah, I really thought the HSI would. Would would give us an ILS, but I guess not. That that's annoying. Anyways, we have returned to the fleet. All all, tar all, blah, blah, all targets are destroyed. Ready to rearm and refuel. All right, break. So our fleet with our two cruisers, our one carrier and one assault carrier, and then our. Uh, our bombers flying overhead. Our tanker and bombers flying overhead. So yeah, let's shut her down. Because I like I don't have to shut her down. I just like doing that. Shut her down. Yeah, we took a bit, a, quite a bit more damage this time. Our, our left wing was, I saw, there was a chunk out of our left wing. There's a hole in your, in your <laughs> there's a hole in your wing. I think it's supposed to be as a hole in your, in your, in your right wing. But this is our left wing. Anyways, yeah, I, I'll take a one wire. In, in those circumstances, I'll take a one wire. Alright, and with that, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.